Today I wanted to introduce you to uh, yet another interesting insect here on the prairie. Uh, these are two common milkweed plants near this false indigo. And if uh, you look closely, you will see a red beetle resting on a leaf here on this common milkweed plant. That is a, called a red milkweed beetle. This, um, this bug spends its entire life cycle um, here on the milkweed plant. Um, the mother lays the eggs down on the uh, base of the plant and the eggs when they hatch release larvae that go down to um, the roots of the plant and overwinter um, eating the roots um, of the milkweed plant. And in the spring, the babies come out and they climb up onto the plant and eat leaves for food. And then um, the life cycle starts over again. Um, these organisms are aposomatic, meaning that they have bright color as a warning um, not to eat. Um, basically, uh, like the monarch butterfly, um, these organisms are feeding on a plant that has numerous toxins. And so, um, like the bright colors of the monarch butterfly, this beetle is saying to birds and other organisms, don't eat me, otherwise you're going to get a mouthful of either poison or at least something that doesn't taste good. This, uh, this beetle belongs to the um, family of long-horned um, beetles. As you can see, it has some very long antennae. And um, these antennae, um, as in all long-horned beetles, attach uh, to the head adjacent uh, to the eyes, but in this uh, subfamily that it belongs to, the antennae actually um, not only attach near the eye, but actually <clears throat> bisect the eye, which is uh, very interesting as you can see on this, uh, this photo here. Um, it's not clear what benefit this particular beetle, beetle offers um, the common milkweed or the other milkweed plants that it feeds on, but um, an interesting organism nonetheless.